Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for March 27th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Uno 2, or Uno Dos perhaps. Um, I actually don't know what the meaning of this title is, if it's a song title, or if Bill has a previous puzzle called Uno. I really don't remember or know, um, but that's what it's called. So um, this is Uno Dos, let's say, by Bill Murphy. And this is a region sum lines Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some blue lines in the grid. And in each region that the line passes through, the sum of the digits on the line must be the same. And in this puzzle, there are a lot of cells that are the only cell in a box that are on the line. So what this is saying in this puzzle is this cell must be the sum of these cells and the sum of this single cell. So these are the same, and they're the sum of these three cells. And that's going to work for all of these clues. These are the sum of these cells. And those are the rules. Um, this is actually <laughs> inspired by one of my puzzles. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been on yet another pattern um, with kind of circles in the corners with different line constraints. Um, and when I was messing around with these, I started to make a region sum lines puzzle and ended up with something just impossibly hard. Um, I haven't even tried to solve it, um, but which was unique. Um, and then I posted another attempt that was still too hard. Um, and yeah, Bill commented on it, and he saw saw the idea I was going for with the uh, single digit adding to three digits. Um, we've done things with that before, and so he decided to make a region sum lines puzzle himself. Um, this is actually coming out late, um, so you already know that I posted a, another region sum lines that actually is approachable. Um, and has some of the same ideas. So hopefully solving this one first helped you with that. Um, but let's get started. Um, central box only has three, four, five left, so we'll just go ahead and mark those. And now we'll look at the region sum lines. So the trick with these, and this is a trick we've mentioned before, I'm sure, um, but when we have three cells in a single box or row or column, when they all see each other, um, the minimum sum we can have is one, two, three, which is six. So in this puzzle, what we're saying is these three cells are a sum which has to appear in these two cells. So we know these two cells must be at least six. And in this case, they see six, eight, and nine. Six and nine in the column, six and eight in the row. But because these are the same, these are effectively clone. Um, because they're the same and because they have to be at least six, the only possibility is seven. And there's only one way to do seven in three cells. That's one, two, four. The two looks over, and then we get one, four like that. So we're going to do the same thing for all of these. These two cells see seven, eight, and six, so they must be nine. There are several ways to make nine in three cells, but we've eliminated two because of this two and this two that we placed on the other line. And now the only way to make nine is one, three, five. Um, the other ways are two, three, four, and one, two, six. The one looks over, so it gets placed there. Uh, let's come down to this one. This one sees seven, eight, and nine. So these must be six, and the only way to do that is one, two, three. This one looks down. And now you might be able to guess that this one is going to be eight sees six, nine, and seven. There are two ways to do eight in three cells. Those are one, three, four, and one, two, five. One, three, four is ruled out because of this three, so it must be one, two, five. And we have a one here, and we have a two here. So it has to go that way. The one resolves four, one. The two resolves three, two. And the three here resolves five and three. That was actually resolved earlier. I just forgot it. And those are all the clues done. So now we are, again, basically doing a classic Sudoku. Um, 
So let's see what we need to do next. These rows and um, some of the columns are fairly restricted. Um, this can't be six. This can't be nine. Down here, these are seven, eight, nine. Um, this one can't be eight. This one can't be nine. Uh, and I can see that these nines and this nine are looking into this box. And that must be nine. That's the only place for it. This is eight and six. So eight is not here. It must go here. Um, eight is looking down into this box. It goes there. Uh, nine is in one of these cells. I feel like I'm doing this in a really random order. Um, but hopefully that's okay. I do see that 7 and 9 are both here. So 9 is in one of these cells, but I don't think we can resolve that quite yet. Alright, let's look at some other columns. In this one we need 4, 6, 7, 8. And we have three of those digits here, so this is a naked single 4. Uh, there's 6 and 7 up here, so this is the 8. And there's a 6 here, so this is 7 and 6. Maybe this column is also restricted. These are 3, 6, 7, 9. And yeah, we have 3 of those here. Um, and it looks like Bill used these high digits together with the um, reason some lines to make some naked singles. So that's 8. Um, remaining digits here are 6, 7, 9. We have 6, 7 in the row again. And then this is 6, 7 from that 7 and 6. That 7 resolves 7 and 9, and that places a 9 here in the box. This is 3 or 5. Ah, and 3 can't go in any of these cells, so that's the 3. These are 1, 2, and 5, and we got a 5 here. Uh, this can't be 2, and so it's 1, 2, like that. This is four or five in the column. Still need a one in this column. Let's go here. And we still need an eight. And it must go here because of that eight. So the central stack is almost resolved. Um, this box still needs a seven. Um, yeah, that's been there since we placed that seven. Um, and then in this row, this is a 4 and 5. This is 4 and 6. These are 3, 5, and 9. The 3 can't go in that box. And so this is 9, 5, because we know there's a 5 here, and there's a 9 sitting right there. These are 1, 2, 4. Um, again, we know the 4 is in one of these cells. This is a 3. These are 1, 2, and 6, and this must be the 6 for two reasons. 2 and 1 are in this row, but also 6 is in this box. The 1 resolves 2 and 1. These are 5 and 8. These are 4 and 2. The 3 here resolves 5, 3, 4, 5, 4, and 3, and 5, and 7 to finish it. Uh, really neat puzzle. Um, it's a really clever setup and really elegantly used after you resolve the region sometimes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.